everybody and welcome back. I'm Virginia and today we are experimenting with nettles again. Um, last time I tried to make fiber out of nettles and I'm saying try because I didn't really succeed. <laughs> yeah, let me put it that way. But this week I've decided I am actually going to follow instructions and try again. We're not done with the nettle adventure. <laughs> I'm not giving up. I've finally read the instructions, like the actual instructions. I've memorized them. I'm checking all the time so I don't make mistakes. <laughs> and we're gonna try and do it again. As I said last time, we're using fresh nettles. We already have some that are dry, but we want to try and see how it works with fresh nettles. So that's what we're going to do. It's kind of sunny outside, so it's a good day to uh, pick up some nettles. Let's do it. We're back to the nettle hunt. We're back to the nettle mission. We're not giving up. We have nettles again. We've collected nettles again. Please put on long sleeves. If you ever pick nettles, put on long sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> don't be like me <laughs> oh god well we're gonna gather I don't know I think we should gather a bit more than last time because if we're gonna follow the steps as they should be maybe we should try and aim for a little bit more thread why not okay this is me ranting I will just sign off and check back for the next step <laughs> This is next step. We have all the stalks. I don't know how many we took. Maybe like, I don't know, 40 or something. But there are a lot. So now we're removing the leaves, putting them here. Um, because we're gonna try to make fertilizer out of it. And we have the stalks. So I'm basically using a piece of cloth, rubbing the stalk and then removing the leaves and separating and putting the stalks here. <laughs> Okay, we're on to step number three. We're peeling the nettles. This time, straight away, no drying. Um, it's been way easier to peel the nettles, obviously, because they're fresh, so it's very easy to peel them. And then after we've peeled them, here you can see the peeled nettles. After we do this, then we're gonna let it dry for a bit. It's kind of a cloudy day, so we'll probably have to do it for a whole day, but no more. We're not drying them like we did last time because it was it was very difficult actually to process them. So hopefully this time it will work. I'm also trying to avoid the little knots of the nettle. We're following videos now and instructions, so we kind of break it here, break it up there and then very gently remove the fiber from the inner parts around the knot so we don't break the fiber and we get longer fibers which we're actually managing so I'm pretty happy about that so I have very good helpers today Mia say hi hi Emma Lave. hi Mona and Nas Martinius hi. I have very good helpers, <laughs> so we'll continue. We have a whole bunch, so it's gonna take us a while. <laughs>
nettles are peeled. Look at this wonderful bundle. Look at this. It's so cool. I mean, obviously it's a lot less than we had in the beginning and it will become a lot less when we end. But, oh my God, look at this. It definitely peeled way better this time. It was so much easier. I separated the nettles first um, in little bundles. I guesstimated it, to be honest. I didn't count. And then I put the ends and the tops mixed together so it's not all tops on one side and all ends on the other and now we're gonna let it dry for a whole day and hopefully we'll have something to work with tomorrow <laughs> So next step, we're rubbing the nettles. You can already tell the fibers are coming out. It might happen this time, people. It might happen. I'm noticing that not only the fibers are starting to appear, but also this was quite stiff because it has been dried for a whole day. And now it's way more flexible. And that I've been rubbing it for, I don't know, maybe five minutes or something. So we are trying to scrape the nettles now. Let's see how that goes. This time I'm using a regular table knife because my Viking knife was too sharp, I think. And actually, yeah, it didn't work great. So let's try with this one, see how it works. I'm also trying to use the very blunt part of the knife so it's not that sharp. Maybe that helps. And this is the result after scraping for a little while. This is what Mona has scraped. And you'll have to trust me here. It's so soft right now. It's so nice. Ah, this is so cool. We're also trying to gather the little fibers in this cloth. But oh my god, look at this. Oh, if you could touch it. Okay, people, we've scraped the nettles. That's what we have. It's kind of sad because, I mean, look at all we have left. <laughs> okay, we still have all of that that we need to sort and whatnot and blah, 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 and try to save as much as we can, but still. It looks way better than last time. Could be the quantity, like the amount of nettles we have. Also, we've actually followed steps and it's starting to be so soft and nice. Okay, so we've scraped the nettles a second time and now it's time for spinning. I'm not carding the fibers today because they're very long and I think they're gonna break a lot. So I'm just gonna try to do a bit without carding at all. And maybe if it works very badly, I will try to card them. Let's see how it works. Okay, there's definitely an improvement. I mean, spinning these long fibers is way easier and you know, it, it looks like thread. Uh, okay, the camera is not really focusing on it, but you know, there's there's something and it, it, it looks way better than last time. We might be able to make thread. Are we crazy? <laughs> and that's all for this week. I am actually very happy with the result. I mean, it's still a little bit chunky, but not as bad as the first one. I actually got some kind of thread. So, you know, who would have thought? Following instructions actually works. <laughs> anyway, uh, next time we will try with dry nettles just to see how that works in comparison to fresh ones. So I'm very excited about that. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell, follow me on Instagram, all those things. And I will see you for the next video. In the meantime, I'll be here crafting, definitely.